So what do we have in store for you today? Well, I'm joined by my friend and colleague, Case Hollander, again, who you all know well. He's our European Technical Service Coordinator. So welcome, Case. Nice to have you. Thanks, Rich. Um, so you always ask me, what's the subject? Uh, or I always tell you, you know, what is the subject today? Well, again, Case has done it. He's uh, He said, I've got one for you, Rich. He's given me a very, very small heads up of what he wants to cover but he hasn't told me the question. So I might stumble, I might reach for the screen, but I'm going to try and get the answers. So Case, let's, um, let's let everyone know Bring what we're going on. to do today. Oh, good. Well, okay, today's uh, subject is uh, something more of a seasonal thing uh, in these uh, cold uh, months, at least here in Holland. We often get questions about uh, possibilities to speed up the cure cycle, especially in the initial part where to get the pain, paint uh, less prone to picking up dust and all other kind of contaminants. Um, can you identify and clarify a bit more on the accelerators that we use? Yeah, okay. So uh, pro probably the easiest thing to do is explain what an accelerator does. So it it's to speed up the initial cure cycle of, of the product. There are effectively, if we talk about a, a top coat, there are there are three three cure cycles. And it, it speeds the initial one up by 25 to 60 percent, depending on the type. But um, and and that that's what it does. Do, do you want me to explain a little bit about cure cycles? Will that will that help? Let's you? let's go a little bit deeper in it because I think there is a lot uh, of uh, confusion out there on the cure cycles. Okay. Okay. So that, as I say, there are three stages, and the the accelerator only speeds up the first stage that's the important thing and and what is that the first stage is the, the the 12 to 24 hours and what it is is that's where the paint can then be handled it's when you can pick it up and move it if it's a small component or whether you want to start doing your your striping so it's just that initial cure that it speeds up the second the 72 uh to to 96 is the second cure stage and then you have the third at 14 to 21 days it actually doesn't alter that um the the last one the 14 to 21 is where the coating develops all its physical properties that it has its hardness those sort of things so it's it's that first stage it is the simplest way i think to answer that one so it, it's it's actually more accelerating the process time than instead of accelerating that initial forming of the of the paint film where it's picking up dust yeah yeah it's the first it, i will repeat it i guess but it's it is that first stage so it's the point where we want to be able to handle it move it have it have it sort of lacquer dry quickly it's that stage that it speeds up the actual other curing cycle takes takes longer and it still still has those three leading up okay. to the 14 days now we have three accelerators in the range. One is yeah. five for five. That, that's, yep. that's easy. That's really to speed that process up. Yeah. But we also have two other accelerators. It's the X ninety eight and the one thirty eight. One three eight. Yeah. Yeah. Can you can you explain the differences in those two? Actually, that's a re do you know what? That's a good question, and the, um, and we do get asked this a lot. So the X ninety eight is for spray application only. The, the 138 is for um, spray um, and brush and roll application for our, our polyurethane top coats, if that makes sense. So it's suitable for all grip and all craft is, is probably something to touch on. And it can be used um, for those. And the, probably the main difference between the 98 and the 138 is the 138 is, is um, it's blocked, it's inhibited. So it only starts to work once it's on the, the surface, once it's sprayed out of the gun. So one thing that happens is the accelerator drastically reduces your pot life, the workable time you have with your product. So that's the big one. So the 138 helps you with your pot life because it's, it's inhibited. So as a rule of thumb, use 138 in the faster product, so something like Allcraft, and use 98 in the sl slightly slower um, lacquer drying products, such as is okay. the G-Line. That so, makes sense? 
Yeah, definitely. To me, at least, and I hope for our audience as well. Um, me too. You already touched upon the fact that that you will notice something in the bot life if you add uh, accelerators. Is there also something you need to be mindful of as an applicator when you're applying your paint with an accelerator in it? Is it changing the the application characteristics of a product? Um, I th yeah, again, there's probably a few on here, but temperature, it's extremely important that the accelerator is used at the, the appropriate and recommended temperatures. Um, so what I mean by that, in general, accelerators are recommended for use um, up to 25 degrees. Um, some can be used up to 30 degrees. And, and using that accelerator above that recommended temperature will result in significant reduction in, t and in the time available, the pot life. So you need to mm -hmm. consider when you're using it. Um, less is better than more probably um using too much accelerator will again reduce that workable time um so you know if you're if you're unsure let you know less is more so to speak you know always use less um so pot life is reduced final appearance of the paint and the gloss and flow level um you know if you get too much could be affected so you need to be yeah. mindful of that of stopping it, it post flowing um so yeah you, you need to refer to i guess i'm saying go back to your data sheet the other bits aren't on there but this is so use the appropriate amount on your data sheet the pro tip yeah 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 exactly cool. exactly well thanks for explaining i think it uh, it clarifies a, a lot to uh, to our audience as well um is there anything you'd like to add upon this i no I, I don't i don't think so i mean i think i think as i say accelerators uh you know we just need to understand what they do why they're there and when we might use them so we need to be mindful of that and the, you know the consequence of reducing pot life is something but um probably the one case that we didn't touch on is cold cure um you add that as a replacement to reducer and you can only go up to 12 percent of cold cure so an example would be if you put 20 percent reducer in your primer yeah you you would put 12 percent cold cure and then an additional eight yeah. percent of of uh the the t6 in, a, in the 545 yeah. uh, so it's a replacement um of of the thinners but you can only go up to 12 percent. that's the maximum that you can do so probably easy to go 10 percent, 10 and 10 if that makes to make sense. it easy yeah yeah yeah. yeah 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 but that's pretty much it on accelerators quick and easy i hope oh that's also uh, nice for a while a quick and easy one okay so thanks for your time rich and for the clarification i think this is a uh, very useful information as well you're welcome so where does that leave me? So thank you, everyone, for joining us on another Yacht and Coffee and Coatings chat. Um, to find out more on the subjects, as we always say, please go to allgrip.com, yachtpaint.com, and make sure that you follow us on social media for the tips and tricks. So we'll see you again in a couple of weeks. Cheers. Bye-bye.